Trails Farm. Today I'm going to show you how to make um, herbal cold and flu tea. Um, it's a, a, a nice herbal tea to drink um, if you are showing symptoms of having a cold or um, even if you have the flu. Um, and it's all natural and there's no weird drugs or chemicals you can't pronounce in it. And I'll put the ingredients down in the box below the video. Um, First of all, you're going to need a uh, large bowl. I'm going to move the camera down. If you've watched my other videos on um, making herbal tea, then you know um, about the um, press and seal with the iron tea bags. And that's what we're going to be using today. Um, so first of all, we're in a large bowl, we're going to be putting one tablespoon each of um, the following... Um, dried herbs. We're going to need one uh, tablespoon of um, peppermint. Now I'm going to be doing double because um, I'm making a double batch, but I'll be using the measurements that are necessary to make one um, batch when I say them out loud. We're going to need one tablespoon of dried yarrow. Need one tablespoon of dried basil. We're going to be using one teaspoon of powdered ginger. Since this, this has a lot of ingredients in it, if you are missing a couple of these, go ahead and make your tea. It will be fine. Um, each one has a different use. And um, I'll try to put that information. I don't know how much information the box below will let me do. One tablespoon of linden leaf. If you have linden flour and leaf mixture, that's fine. You want one tablespoon of whorehound. One tablespoon of lemongrass. You want one tablespoon of ah, elderberries. Want one tablespoon of elder flowers. One tablespoon of chamomile. One tablespoon of rosemary. Spoon of echinacea, and I use a mixture of the leaves, the roots, and the flowers. And one tablespoon of powdered cinnamon. You're going to put all of this in a bowl, and you're going to mix it well. You want to make sure it's very well mixed up in there. Also, if you want to, you could um. If you like a finer powder, the the finer your herbs, the less you have to steep them. Um, especially when you're dealing with roots and like the dried berries. Um, if they're in a powdered form, they're going to um, steep quickly, more quickly. And if they're in the root form, they're going to have to have, be in the hot water longer to get the um, medicinal properties released into the water. I'm just sort of crushing some of my uh, chamomile heads that look a little large to me. And since they're so dry, I'm just pushing them against the bowl with the back of my measuring spoon. The little chamomile heads powder up pretty quick when you push them against the hard bowl surface, they sort of just disintegrate into a little powder. 
powdery form there. Now, when you feel like you've got it all pretty much mixed up, and you know your, your powdered ginger and the powdered cinnamon will tend to um, drop to the bottom of the bowl. So when you're filling your tea bags, make sure you're scraping from the bottom of the bowl so you can make sure you get some of the stuff that's seeping through because it's finer. Okay, I think that's pretty good. It's a nice mixture there. What I'm going to do next is get the tea bags ready. If you didn't previously watch my video on making the Echinacea and Elderberry tea, then you might not know about these. Um, I buy the one from Monterey Bay Space Spice Company um, just because I've always found that they were more economically priced, but um, you can get all different kinds. Um, just look for, um, I think you want to call them uh, heat sealable, heat sealable ones. You're just going to use regular household iron. I accidentally at one point these were on sale, the Gripic teapot size ones, and I accidentally bought them. They were on, thinking they were the regular size one. So I just cut each one of them half. They're a little strange and long, but they work. Um, so for the price that I got these great big ones on sale, um, I'm getting two for every tea bag, so that's pretty cool. Um, so what you're going to want to do is uh, you want to have an ironing surface, and I have a little ironing board that I use for sewing projects and stuff that I'm going to be using, and I'm going to be covering it with a big towel. You're going to set your iron on um, no um, steam, and um, you probably want some sort of um, bowl um, to, because we're going to fill the tea bags first, and then I'm going to be doing the um, filling up. Okay, uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to get your tea bags. And I have my tea bags. And we're going to be putting two teaspoons of the herbal mixture into every tea bag. So they're just like a regular tea bag um, thing. Also, if you if you make your own tea bags out of muslin, um, you can also uh, use those. And I will be doing a video on how to make your own tea bags in the future. So you want to do two teaspoons in each one. Now I have to be careful because I have the I cut them and so <laughs> I have to iron on two sides here. Remember to scrape from the bottom of the every once in a while I'll give it a little shake there. Because your powders, your ginger and your cinnamon are going to want to sink to the bottom of the bowl there. You can drink this every, up to um, a cup of this every four hours. Now, if you don't know a lot about herbs, you might, um, assuming, I don't know, like I said, I don't know how much the box is going to let me put in there, but. Um, but I will put the ingredients and you can go research, just pull up what the properties of each of those herbs are for. All of them have to do with um, fighting infections, boosting your immune system, uh, some of them fight coughs, sore throats, um, some of them will um, sort of encourage um, a little bit of sweating, um, not like you're not like you know like you're in a sweat lodge or anything, but just enough to sort of get your body um, getting releasing those toxins. Um, there are some things in here that help you rest a little bit. Um, so, like I said, this is good to take before bed. I wouldn't suggest taking this before you're going to go driving or anything because um, there is chamomile in it, and it does have a little bit of a sleepy effect. The tea bags should, uh, when you're adding them to six to eight ounces of boiling water, and then you want to cover your mug with uh, a saucer, or um, if you have a, a mug cover that's great, or a clean dish towel, or whatever you have, um, and uh, let that steep for 10 to 15 minutes. And then you know you can squeeze your tea bag and get the last every last drop out of there. Uh, you can, if you can't, if you don't like the flavor, um, I find that the cinnamon, between the cinnamon and the peppermint, this recipe, that um, 
the t flavor is not unpleasant. Um, it's not like some of the, um, and you also have the elderberries in there too, so it's sort of a fruity flavor, fruity cinnamon. Some of the, if you're making like a sleepy time tea, some of the sedative um, herbs with sedative properties do taste funky. But um, this, I drank this by itself. But if you f find that you don't like the taste, you can sweeten it with honey or sugar or uh, lemon juice or um, like my family likes to use the red hot, uh, like a cinnamon imperial candies, just throw a tablespoon of those in there. Um, and it makes it sort of a very cinnamony taste. And uh, kids think that they're getting candy, so whenever candy's involved, I think kids tend to like, oh, okay, I'll drink that for you. Okay, lest you believe I have a magic blue bowl here, I just took a moment to wash and dry it so I can use it again to transfer my tea bags to when I iron them. So the tea bags are really simple. You want to shake your herbs down into, um, like if you have them, you're probably only doing the top, but like I said, because I have the wrong size tea bags that I purchased, I have to do two sides. So just cover your ironing board or whatever your ironing surface is with a clean dish towel. Put your iron to no steam and the hot the hottest uh, linen cotton setting. And there's a finished tea bag. Uh, you can get these on Amazon now. I used to have to order them through the mail years and years ago um, through tea companies, used to always sell them. But now, the almighty Amazon, you can get just about anything you need. Okay, I'm not going to make you sit here and be subject to me ironing another 20 or so tea bags. So, um, I will rejoin you when I am, have completed all of my bags. So my double batch ended up making 28, um, bat, tea bags. So, uh, your single batch would make 14. Um, I always just put them in a baggie and then put a, um, sticker on it. It's just cool tea. Um. And um, the, this is just a good, a good tea to have on hand, um, not meant to replace flu medicines or anything like that. Um, we, we do doctors and we do medicines, and, but this is just something good that relieves symptoms um, at night to help you rest, um, to relieve the sore throats and, and um, nasal congestion and that sort of thing that comes with colds and, and all that stuff. It just relieves some symptoms. It doesn't um, replace your doctor. Um, check into the, the box below for more information and I hope this was helpful. And this has been Angie from Canterbury Trails Farm. Bye. Bye.